Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. Today we're going to be looking at the solo from Wherever I May Roam by Metallica. Let's take a look. Alright guys, let's have a look at the first section. I'm going to start off with this double stop slide from 12 of the first two strings. And then I go into this phrase. Sliding into 9 of the 3rd, then I'm playing 10 of the 4th. At the end of that, I'm playing 9, 10 on the 3rd string, but I'm going to do sort of a quarter bend from there. It's kind of gross. Then after that, I work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going to slide into 10 of the third string and then jump to 9 of the second. Then I go into this little legato idea. So I'm going to do two pull offs from 12 to 9 on the second string. Then from that point, 10, 9 on the second. So I've got three pull offs there. At the end of that, I'm going to do two pull offs from 10 to 9 on the third string and then jump to 10 of the fourth. This is what we should have thus far from the start. Okay. Then from that point, I borrow this phrase. So it's a very, very similar start sliding in all the way up to that bend, except at the end of that, I'm going. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You can do it all in one pick. With the Y, you can kind of carry that um, but if you want to, you can just pick it twice. I like to pick it twice. I think it's got a nice sassy vibe. Okay. After that, we're going to work into this Phrygian, top, Phrygian dominant tapping idea. That's the sentence I'm looking for. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tapping 17 on my right hand on the first string. And then my fretting hand is going to be legato wing 16, 13, 12. So I want to do that. It's just four notes, all descending. Then I'm going to kind of borrow that sort of Randy Rhodes crazy train, that kind of double pulsed tapping. So the first one's just going to be a single tap. Then I'm going to do 17, 16 twice. And then that rolls backwards. So we're going to have four notes on the first group and then six on the second. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to take up two bars. So the first beat of the first bar is going to be the four. And then two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four of the next two bars is going to be the double tap. So it's going to go like this. Nice and repetitive. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this little phrase. Let's slow that down. That's going to be exactly the same thing four times in a row, so I'll slow that down. That first bit is going to be playing 15, 13, 12 on the second string. And then I want to do it just to pull off from 15 to 12. And that's going to result in five notes. Now there's two ways you can go about this. You do a quick hammer on there. I like to add the extra pick. Just sort of helps me keep on the pulse a little bit more. The legato kind of throws me a bit. I do like to add that extra pick in just to keep me on point. As I said, there's going to be four of those in a row. At the end of the fourth one, it'll go, let's slow that down. I've got a pull off from 13 to 12 on the second string. And then it goes 14, 13, 14 on the third string. Then after that, I've got that big bend that'll lead into the next section. And then the next section will start. It's another bend from 15 to the second string. So that last chunk will go. And that's all of the first section. Let's go right back to the start of the section, play it relatively slowly, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. We'll 
We're almost home with some taps. Okay, let's have a look at the second section. We're gonna start off with two bends from 15 of the second string. At the end of the second one, I bring that down. I go back to 12. And then I go back to 15 and whammy the crap out of it. After that, I work into this phrase. Let's do that a little bit slower. I'm gonna be playing 17, 18 on the second string. Then I'm going to play 16 and then three 17s on the first string. At the end of that, I'm going to pick it one more time and pull off from 17 to 16 and then play 18, 17 on the second. So from the start of that phrase, the end of that, do a quick hammer on pull off going 17, 18, 17 on the second string, and then just jumping back to 12th fret. Hopefully that's all making sense. Let's go right back to the start of the section, do everything we've got thus far, and we'll add the next chunk to it. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I go to this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm playing seven of the third string and eight of the second, a cheeky little double stop chord. I do that three times. So it's gonna go from the end of one bar into the start of the next. One, two, three, four. And then when I go over to this chord on 10 and 11, I've got this kind of Iron Maiden-y gallop rhythm. So I'm gonna go three here. And then when I get to 10 and 11, I'm gonna go what I call the apple pie rhythm. Apple pie, apple pie. A very, very slight gallop. It is a little bit difficult to hear because I was learning it and I listened to it a hundred times. I heard that da -da -da -da, that little gallop that I'd missed through you know the 20 years I've been listening to this song. So I've got. To keep that alive, uh, a little whammy is nice because it does hold that uh, that last chord on the second gallop for quite a while. So do a cheeky whammy there if you want to. After that, I work into this uh, fun little riff. Really silly, but always fun with Kirk. Playing 10 of the first uh, and second string. I'm gonna do that twice. Then go seven, eight. And then I'm going to work my way up chromatically from 9 to 16. And it's going to go like this. It's at a speed where I think alternate picking makes the most sense. I think it might just be straight eighth notes. Mm, yeah, just straight eighth notes. And that's pretty much all of the second section. So what I want to do is go right back to the start, play it at a gentleman's pace, and then we'll go again even slower with some tabs. Here we go. Well, Thomas and Tabs. So after we've done this big chromatic build, all the way up to 16, we're gonna start with this. I'm playing 19 of the first and second string. If you've got time, you can add some cheeky whammy in there, but it's pretty short. Then I work into this phrase. What I've got here is a triple pulsed uh, 20 second bend on the first string. On the third bend up, if you've got enough distortion and wire, that will be uh, sustaining enough. And just a little bit of whammy can be fun there as well. At the end of that, I work into this phrase. 
So it's nearly exactly the same thing four times. I'm doing a pull off from 19 to 16 on the first string and then adding two open notes at the end of that. My picking for that is I'm going down on the legato and then down up at the end. And that'll be the same for all of them. Okay, the only thing that's changing is on the fourth group, I'm gonna go back to 16. So I'm gonna go 19, 16, open, and then the 16 again. So all together, hopefully that's making sense. And then there's just this little legato run and that's the end of the solo. So what I'm gonna do for the start of this, it's a little bit diminished -y. I'm pulling off 19, 16 and sliding the 13. Then I hit 13 again when I get there. Now from this point, I'm gonna do 13 again. I'm gonna do a hammer on pull off into a slide. I'm gonna go 13, 16, 13, slide to 12 and hit that 12 again when I get there. So we've got, you can see where the pulse is there. Then I've got, let's slow that down. Similar timing, just a little bit differently phrased. I'm playing 12, 13, 12 on the first string. As a legato, I'm jumping to 15 of the second string back down to 12. That's going to sound like this. So we've got... Hopefully that's making sense. Now with this next point, I'm going back in. I've lost that little triplet. That quick thing, I'm just doing a straight 16th pull-off here from 15 to 13. And then I hit 13 twice when I get there. To finish off the whole solo, I'm gonna add that little triplet hammer on pull off. Nose is very itchy today, the allergies are out. And that's pretty much the whole solo. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to put together this little legato idea and then we'll go right back to the start of the section and put it together. Hopefully that's making sense. Let's go right back to the start, play at a gentleman's pace and then again, even slow with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the solo to Wherever I May Roam by Metallica. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and sign up with the mailing list if you want to be one of the cool kids. And also if you want to get tabs to this lesson and anything else I do, Please join up with the Patreon, there's a bunch of perks. You can start from a very, very low perk to get any of the tabs to this lesson. Anything else I do, all of my solo builders, I also do giveaways with courses and that kind of thing. I have three books out now that I'm very proud of. Shred Guitar Improvisation is out now if you want to up your understanding of improvisation on chord changes and interesting sequences and phrasing. My second book, Rock Guitar Mode Mastery, is out now. If you want to up your understanding of the seven modes and how to use them in a composition and improvised context, and of course, my first book, Ultimate Shred Machine, is still out now. If you want to up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping, and if you're not much of a reader, all three of those books are available on Udemy and my website in video form if you're down with that. Anyway, it was lovely to see you guys again. Hope you're off to a rock and start with 2020, and I'll see you guys all very soon.